In 2016, I decided to move my woodworking business in hopes of growing it into something bigger. Now, only a few years later, people all over the Nashville area are inviting me into their homes to help create unique one-of-a-kind pieces and make their dreams a reality. So follow along as I take you behind the scenes and show you what it takes to create these custom built-ins. So today we are starting in on yet another project, and I say that because we're currently three projects deep at the moment. We are finishing up another project currently, but that's going to take a couple of days of small little bits here and there, so we're going to go ahead and finish that up while we work on this project. This one is pretty cool. It is a laundry room uh, and then some bench seats out in the living room. So it's going to be a lot of boxes, a lot of construction as far as like cabinetry goes, and then a couple of days back here uh, getting some cabinet doors made. I'm really hoping that we can have this thing done sooner rather than later, but my new sander isn't going to be here for a hot minute, so with this many doors, I was kind of hoping we wouldn't have to do them without the sander, but we'll see how that turns out. So today we're going to work on the laundry room, and this is going to be kind of simple. Um, we're doing some shiplap along the back where the two main units are, the washer and dryer. Um, we are also adding some storage on the far side where they've got a lot of like regular pantry-esque storage. Um, we're going to be filling that space in with some shelving with some lower cabinets on the bottom and upper cabinets up top. Uh, and on the other side, they already have a unit that's been built in, but we're going to change the doors and the shelf and try to make it match what we're putting in. All of it's going to be painted a beautiful white color. It's going to be relatively simple, so fingers crossed this actually goes quick for once, um, but most likely it won't and we'll still be behind. So with that being said, I am ready to start on this project, so let's go get some supplies.
So today my client uh, had an interesting request that I'm pretty excited about. He saw there was a lot of space up above the upper cabinets and wanted to know if there was anything I could do to add some additional storage up there. Um, when I asked him what for, because it's not really a lot of room, he then showed me that he wants to somehow be able to hide all of his liquor and wine bottles when his family comes to visit from India. Being Hindu in the culture, it's a big no-no for them and he does not ever have alcohol in the house when his parents come by. He actually gives it away to his friends and stuff and is like, just, I'll restock later, my parents are coming, get it out of here. Being Southern Baptist myself, I can sympathize with that sentiment. So I decided to take on the challenge. But in all seriousness, this gave me an awesome idea for a prohibition style addition to this pantry. Um, some of the bottles didn't fit, so then he came up with the idea of maybe putting them in like a secret compartment or something out in the living room, and by the time we were done, we had had way too much fun designing and coming up with goofy stuff, and I love it. I'm ready for this challenge. I think it's gonna be a cool idea. Let's see what I can come up with. It is the end of the week and everybody is gone. My client is out of town, my part-time guy is out of town. It's just me. So on this nice chilly fall day, I've got the shop opened up, I've got all the air conditioners turned off. I'm excited because I don't get days like this very often anymore. It doesn't exactly mean I'm gonna be sitting around just having a whole bunch of fun and drinking hot chocolate. I've got a nice warm coffee and I am going to be making parts and pieces for all of the doors for this giant project as well as the super secret part that the client asked me to do. So I'm going to start with that, work on door parts, and if I have anything else to do today it'll probably just be cleaning crap up and getting things done around the shop. So I'm looking forward to it.
bound only by frozen Just like that y'all, I am done. This project turned out super awesome and I very much enjoyed it. It was very big and very ambitious and I always love big and ambitious projects. I don't love all the downsides that come with them, doors that don't fit, things that don't work and all that kind of stuff. But uh, on this one, I also had the extra thrown in fun of adding in the uh, prohibition style uh, panels and things like that, which actually turned out really cool. I'm pretty sure once this posts, I'm probably going to get a lot more orders for Prohibition style furniture, and I'm not mad about that. These clients were really great and very gracious considering that they had to have their entire laundry room torn apart for almost two weeks solid. Um, so that was a little sketchy for everyone involved, but it worked out. We got their machines back in as we were doing our finishing stuff, and everybody was happy in the end. So. I think that's a good thing. I also very much like the way that his small piece turned out. He had this piece that he'd previously built, wanted me to kind of redo it a little bit and put some doors on it, so I redid it a lot and put new doors on it. I actually reused his original top and just made it bigger, stained it, added a couple new coats of polyurethane, made everything match, and now it looks super awesome. Not that it didn't before, but it looks even better now. And it matches everything I did, so that's a plus. So check out these beauty shots. They're right down here.
So thanks again for watching, y'all. You can hit me up on Instagram. I am at PMK Woodworking on there. I'd definitely love to chat with you guys, and I'd, I'd love to see some of the stuff you're doing. Speaking of the stuff that you're doing, on Facebook, there's a Facebook group called the Maker's Brag Book. If you search that and you answer the questions, I will let you join. It is for beauty shots only. There's a million woodworking groups out there that are all for tips and tricks and things like that, but this is a competitively positive page where all we do is look at each other's stuff and say, hey, that's super cool. Hey, I like that. If you have any questions, take them somewhere else because that's not what this group is about. I'd love to see some more makers on there, especially people who make different things, not just woodworking. So try and find that page if you can. I'll let you join. Also, make sure to hit up charliepants.com. Check out the work pants. Those are what you see me wearing in my videos. They're awesome pants. They're super, super like utilitarian. They've got everything you need, which I absolutely love. Hit them up and use the code PMK20 to get 20% off your first order. And make sure to join their rewards program. You can earn rewards and possibly get some discounts on some pants. Hit me up in the comments below or on Instagram if you have any questions or if you have a DIY that you want to see. I want to put out some more DIY videos and I don't really know what to do right now because I'm so busy doing all of these big builds and stuff. Um, so I'd like to get a little bit of inspiration. So let me know what you guys want to see. I want to build it and I'll make you a video. And with that being said, that's basically it, y'all. Thanks for watching again. We'll catch you next time.